right, guys, it's Beowulf and jetting again to the ocean. If you haven't seen my last video, I was out of my RXTX 300. I was on the ocean like 10 minutes, like after it got dark. Uh, I'm trying to find a white shark, so I guess, you know, going there when it's darker is a chance to see one. But I was testing out the JP Racing Beowulf Edition ECU reflash with a heavy current from being out in the ocean. I topped out at 79. Pretty, that's really impressive. Now I'm going out with the RXPX with the same ECU reflash from JP Racing Inc. The Beowulf Edition. And the RXPX 300, let's see if we top out at. I know, I was just looking at the report, they had over like 11 foot waves out on the ocean and it's supposed to, the waves are supposed to come down by the time I'm getting out there. So hopefully uh, it's a good amount of air, but not something where it's too crazy. When I was out yesterday, the waves were, were pretty big or pretty close. So like I couldn't get up a lot of speed. And actually I was, if you watch the video, I, I turned back cause I was like with my visor, I couldn't see anything cause it's tinted and it was getting so dark. And I was kind of worried that like I couldn't see anything and something just come on, snatch me out from the ocean and eat me. That wheel is like, oh, 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 So I headed in, but I'm right now jetting there. Man, we still got a good amount of light left. It gets dark at 5.30, it's 4.46. So I'm like 15 minutes from there at least and then gotta launch the jet ski and whatnot but i'm out in the ocean so let's get this video going if you're new to the channel i am beowulf and uh this is what i do go out in the ocean and whatnot so um that's where i'm headed so bring you guys you guys along for the ride and girls and uh make sure if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button I also want to know, it is 55, 53 degrees out and I'm going riding. So, hey, rain or shine, warm or cold, I'm out riding. Time to go move, All right, so it's crazy. I'm the only person here at the boat launch. Nobody else is out riding. No boats, nothing. I'm all alone. It's real windy. I mean, check what the wind speeds are. Um, but it's cold and, uh, Man, hopefully I make it back in one piece, but let's see what this RXPX can do top speed run. And uh, maybe we can run into a shark or something. Long. I don't want to get eaten. But hey, if we see one, it'd be kind of cool to get a video.
check out that moon. It's crazy. <laughs> All right, so after coming in, I checked my phone what the wind speeds were out there. It was 22 miles per hour winds. If you watch that, all I could get the thing up to 77, but the, I was turning into handlebars completely to the right. The wind was just pushing me. The hard thing with like current and stuff, you have to go certain directions to get the most speed. You see, I go one way, I go one speed, I go another way, you go another speed. And that's just how water works. Water works different than like when you try to think, whatever you think of speed, a car or something. On the water, it's completely different. Um, so you have like current and whatnot, and being out in the ocean, the current's super strong. Um, it's also a full moon, you saw that moon. And uh, that makes the difference too, where the tide's really low. Um, so it does put, make into play of what your top speed is. The thing I'll do, no question, 80 miles per hour, but trying to do a top speed run, when the winds are 22 miles per hour, it's not happening. It's pretty impressive that I even got up to 77 miles per hour. Um, so that shows it's like you know, man, it was fun. But I tell you, when I was out in the ocean, I got nervous because sometimes you'd hit a wave and the wind was so strong that the waves were coming in and the waves were going out different parts. It's definitely a lot different than what I've ridden before. But I'll tell you right now, it has to be in the 40s right now. I can really feel the temperature drop. When I was out in the ocean, I couldn't even feel my fingers anymore. I got some really good gloves somewhere from before when I used to go with my sea Dew jet boat uh, when it was like the fall time back when I lived in the Midwest I had to find them because they're like their surfer gloves made for cold temperature my jet tribe regular gloves riding gloves for cold weather and this is probably the coldest my hands ever been out there I had to find these other gloves but my boots are already wet from yesterday they dried a fair amount before I started getting out there when I did the car ride by the time my feet are ice cold my hands are freezing cold man that was that was a lot of fun out there so if you're new to the channel man hit that subscribe button my existing subscribers man we're doing big things 2019 also too if you're interested in doing the Bay Wolf edition ECU reflash in the RXPX or the RXTX 300 I uh, visit iambaywolf.com and uh it's best turnaround time with it too but getting it and get unlocked get up to towards to 80 miles per hour 500 bucks you can't beat that at all but otherwise i have to tell you the jeep srt is better pulling than when i had the uh jeep wrangler rubicon by far so uh, that's the end of the video hit that subscribe button and man be driven to win don't give up face your fears i'm out there i didn't see a white shark but i know they're out there and that is the only thing i am scared of and i faced my fears and i went out there so that's kind of what i want to tell my viewers young or old like if you're scared of something just face it don't run from it don't be scared of it whatever it is you're scared of face it don't live life in fear be driven to win in life 2019 big things put your goals through what you want to do in life try to make it happen this year so it's the end of the video hands are full say peace with my fingers but like peace out